So we're finally into the new house. And I think we're going to turn our garage into a fish room. All right, so this is the configuration that we decided on. So we got these gladiator racks. We got 40 breeders there. And I got this one kind of off the ground a little bit so I can kind of get into it. And that one's not too high that I can't actually uh, feed it. I'll have to get on a ladder to decorate and stuff like that and catch fish, but it's fine for feeding. Um, so, yeah, and the great thing about these gladiators is they they attach to each other, so you can just kind of keep going. Um, and it means if you have three of them, you could actually make four racks because you don't have to use one of the stays in the middle or the kind of the legs in the middle so in that configuration that one's not used so if i buy one more i can make one more full rack like that one over there and also too because i'm not using all the shelves uh, that it comes with so i've got extra shelves as well i put this little kind of cubby hole down there. I figure I can store stuff down there. Maybe have some, you know, some bins, uh, fry raising things, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, that's the start. Well, here we are a couple days later uh, in the budding fish room. So that's a tote that I got that's only the 270 gallon one and it's ginormous glad I didn't get the 330 so we're probably gonna cut the top off these um, and kind of use them as grow out tanks and water changing tanks so I can just have a bigger volume of uh, water here so yeah, those suckers are big, really big. And then there's the heater. So that's gonna be the garage heater. Hopefully that's enough in Austin. Doesn't get very cold here. So should be, should be fine. There's some of the 30s just waiting. Maybe even uh, paint some of those today. And I've got two more, two more racks uh, like these big uh, gladiator racks from Lowe's and it fits a 30, two 30s along there just perfect, sorry, 40 breeders along there just perfectly. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll have two more racks just like that. Uh, so could have up to 20, I won't have 24, uh, 40 breeders because uh, I'm going to do some other size tanks like a 125, some uh, 20 highs, and I've got some 10 gallons already drilled over there somewhere. So might as well use those. So anyway, that's the update for today. So the budding fish room is even more messy than it was before. Got some <clears throat> stuff I'm bringing in. So this is a tank for my reverse osmosis system, which is pretty cool. It's, it's a pressurized tank, so water comes out of there pretty good. There's the reverse osmosis. Big sucker. Uh, what else we got? We put in... So we'll have two ways to get water out of the system. One will be through this guy, which is a Boogie Blue Plus, which claims to take uh, chloramines as well as chlorine out of the water. It's kind of hard to test that, <clears throat> but we're going to see. Um, 
So that bottom one will go to the reverse osmosis, and this will be for when I just want to get water out of the tap to, for tanks and stuff like that. And then that is hot and cold uh, coming out of my house system. So I'll be able to warm the water. I didn't put a temperature control thing on there. I might have to do that um, so that I can regulate, you know, I would turn both those completely on and then the temperature control would kind of tell the system uh, how much cold and how much hot to get it to the temperature that I want it. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's coming together. And I got the heater installed up there, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, hopefully that's going to be big enough to heat this thing. And I got some insulation on the doors. I haven't done the top of the doors and the bottom, any of that stuff yet. So still working on that. <clears throat> That's going to be an interesting thing. I'm not sure if there's insulation behind this wall. This is the external wall. Um, so we'll have to find that out um, based on basically how warm we can keep this place. Um, I don't want to go digging in the wall or anything. I guess I could. So anyway, that's a little update on where we're at in the fish room.